Now let's try solving a capacitor circuit. Now the capacitors are measured in microfarads, so just keep that in mind. So in this case, you need to know the two equations that when dealing with capacitor circuits. So you use this equation when you're dealing with series capacitors and this equation when dealing with parallel capacitors. Now the first thing that I notice is we have two parallel capacitors right here. So in this case, we can use the parallel equation. And since we only have two capacitors, I'm only gonna account for two capacitors in this equation. So we have the three microfarad capacitor and the five microfarad capacitor. So we have three plus five, which will give us eight microfarads. So we can take these two capacitors right here and combine it. Now we have two capacitors in series. So I'm going to go ahead and use the series equation, which looks like this. Again, we only have two capacitors here. We should get this right here. Now, if you evaluate this equation, you should get four. So you get this, and now you have the total voltage and the total capacitance on your circuit. We can calculate the charge using this equation, which is charge is equal to capacitance times voltage. So we take our voltage and capacitance, plug it into this equation, and if we have four microfarads times 20 volts, we should get 80 microcoulombs. So that's your total charge, total voltage, and total capacitance on this circuit.